want to take your Bybit trading to the next level? If so, then you need to know about API keys. In this video, we are going to talk about what an API key is, why you need one and how to create one for Bybit. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how API keys work and how to create one for Bybit. This will help you take your trading to the next level and make more profits. Hi everyone, this is Harsh from CoinSutra and in my earlier videos, we you learn about how to create an account on Bybit and how to start trading cryptocurrencies on Bybit. Now this video is all about Bybit API key. Now you might be wondering what an API key is and this is very interesting uh, concept that you need to understand. So if you have to log into Bybit, you actually go to the website, you click on login and you enter your username and password. But what if you have to connect your Bybit account to any third party tool like this is a Bitscap which is a crypto trading tool or CoinStats which help you to monitor your portfolio or if you have to do your taxes for that you have Coinly. So you want to pull your data from Bybit to this, these websites. Now you can't enter your Bybit login and use this tool. So in order for this tool to use your Bybit account data you actually create an API key and password. And this API key and the password which is called secret key is it works like a username and password. So just like you keep your username password safe and secure, you will once you create your API key, you will keep that secure as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you what or how you can go about creating the API key and what are the things that you need to keep in mind. So if it all sounds good, let's go ahead, let's start this tutorial. So the very first thing you would be doing is logging inside your Bybit account. Now once you're inside, click on your username here on your profile here and then click on API feature. And this is how the API management dashboard looks like, right? Now you need to do one thing, you need to click on create new key. So Bybit offers something very interesting. So you can actually create a API key just like username password or you can select this option which says connect to third party application. application. So what happens here is Bybit already shows you some of the third party application. They are partnered with example three commas, then there is trading view, there is a bits gap. So what once you do that, you, you can start creating the, you can do the integration quickly, right? Uh, now API key permission is what you should pay attention to. So read only permission means the API key user, for example, if you are using this data on, so Coinly is a tax reporting tool. They only need to capture the data, read the data, but they don't need to execute a trade on your behalf. So in that case, you would be only creating a read only API key permission. But if you are using a trading terminal like uh, Altready or even Bitsgap, which is a crypto uh, bot trading tool. In that case, you would be needing a read and write permission. What it means is they can read the data, plus they can add additional data. That means they can trade uh, based on based on your condition. So in most of the cases, depending on the tool you're using, if you're using something like CoinStats, which track your portfolio or something like Coinly, which tracks your uh, your trades and suggest and give you a tax accountability for that. In that case, you would be using only read only data. Otherwise, if you're trading, if you're using a trading bot, trading terminal or any tool which would trade on your behalf or you use third party tool to trade, then you need read and write permission. But that is not all, okay? So if you're giving read and write per permission, you have further option to decide what all read and write permission you want to give. So for example, if I am connecting with this tool called Altready, right? Like which is a crypto trading terminal and it's a desktop tool as well and a mobile app, it offers a mobile app as well. So I can basically trade from the desktop app. So what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a API key for Altready and I already have the app downloaded. So this is my desktop tool, right? And here I can see the option called a add API key. So once I go to exchange accounts, exchange account and API key, I need to add API key. So let's click on that. And here I have this option called Bybit, right? So I'll select Bybit. Now, most of the tool that you are using, going to be using, they will have a documentation which shows you how to add the API key for a particular exchange. 
So you can click on this or since you know, you can just start creating the pro uh, process of creating an API key. Now, before we move further, there is a very important thing that you need to know. Now, lately, what uh, all the exchanges or all the tools have started offering this option called IP whitelist. What it does is that your API key that you are generating will work only when, when the query is raised from these IP addresses. So that actually adds another level of security and that helps a lot. So we'll do that. So now first I am actually creating an API transaction. I'll give it a name called Altred ready. And I want to give read write permission, okay? Now, of course, by default, you can have no IP restriction, right? But in that case, the API key will stay valid for only three months. And then you have need to update the API key. Otherwise, if you have the whitelist address, in this case we have, so we'll select this option. We go to alt ready, click on copy, and then enter the addresses here. Perfect, so all addresses are here. Now we need to allow the permission that we want to give. So we want to give read and write permission. We can give permission to everything if you know this. Now there are a few things I don't want to give permission to. I don't want this alt ready or to be able to do an account transfer, okay? I don't want them to do also do the sub account transfer. Basically transfer fund between my wallets or transfer fund between my main account, master account and sub account. Uh, and this is very important. You don't want this API key to have permission for withdrawal, right? So we remove that. Exchange history, no problem. NFT, since we are not using this, I'm just gonna disable this, right? So now this, API key have all this following feature. Now copy trading is not needed for, for this particular uh, trading terminal that I'm using, which is all ready. So I'll use that and I'll remove that. And since I trade on USDT contract, so I'll just remove USDC contract. So now we have all this option ready. Now, of course your setting might be di different based on the tool that you are connecting to. If you're connecting to, for example, coin st stats or Coinly, then you don't need to give read and write permission, you'll be giving only read only permission. And some of them like Coinly don't offer IP restriction. So, you know, that, that's how you go about it. Now you click on submit and you need to validate your action by entering your Google 2FA and which we talked about this already in our earlier video. So let me quickly give the 2FA code here. All right, so here we have, this is our API key, this is our API secret. So think of API key as your account username and think of your API secret as your password. These are the permission which I was given. Now, what you need to know, you need to copy this API key and secret right now because the secret key will not be revealed again. So you can note it down on a piece of, uh, or copy this on, on, a, on your notes, or you can actually use it on the application that you're using. Now, now you don't have to worry about if you do something wrong because you can always delete your API key, recreate unlimited API key. So you don't have to worry if you make any mistake at this stage. And in case if you have not done this, I highly recommend you to do this because this will take your trading experience to the next level. So let me quickly add this exchange to all trading. So I'll just copy this API key. Enter the API key here, copy the API secret and enter it here. And then just click on save and let's name it Bybit Spot and save. Now you just pulled in the balance which I have and everything looks good and I can click on add. Now this account has been successfully added and I can start trading on this account using all tradey or if you're using any third party tool, you can, it will start using the function. So I click on understood and here as we can see, right? Like I can see everything, whatever I've done, I've given a meaningful name, which is very important. I can see my API key, but unfortunately I cannot see my API secret next time. Right, uh, and if you want to make some changes, you can click on edit and you can change the permission if you want. But since we don't need to do that, we'll just go back and we are ready to go. So guys, that's how the API key feature works. I leave the link of Bybit and all these uh, interesting tool like Coinly, Bitsgap, Coinstats and all trading in the description. You should check it out. You will find a lot of value in all this tool. And definitely if you have not created an account on Bybit, use our link to get amazing bonus, welcome bonus, which you won't get anywhere else. And 
with that stay tuned i'll see you in the next video bye bye this is harsh from coin sutra